are you black? Are you Spanish? Like, I'm, well, I don't know because your name's Geraldine, so that's very much given black, but I'm, I can't really tell. So can you just share with me your ethnicity, please? Um, Lauren, we just getting started. We already start with air. Oh, you Dominican and Italian. Okay. Hmm. Okay. What's your daddy look like? Because <laughs> I want to see what he look like. <sighs> that is a beautiful combination. No, for real, y'all, that's a good combination. All right. <clears throat> no, for real, I wonder what her daddy looks like. Is your daddy the Italian? Is your daddy the Dominican? Is your daddy both? Mm. And y'all better not come for me the way y'all be uh, asking about my fucking father. All right, let's see. Spirit. I'm the best of both worlds, Dominican and a Pisces. Girl, bye. Go sit down somewhere. That's the funny part. My dad is Sicilian, dark skin. My mom is Dominican, but they're white and sunny. Oh, good. Okay. All right, let's get started. <clears throat> I said that like 10 times. Spirit, how does air signs feel about their person? What is air signs feeling for that person? Give me two more cards to tell me how air signs feel about the person that's on their mind. Ugh, I said two, but I guess I could take all of these. Oh, yeah, I posted that pendant. Thank y'all. Hey, Erica, girl. He's crazy. His crazy ass is on my page. Who, your father? Who, you talking about, your daddy? I know, Nate, and I'm sorry, I, and I'm going to do it for the subscribers tomorrow. I just didn't have time today. <clears throat> Because if you listen to my little story time on a reading before, today has been a day. But I got y'all. You know I got y'all. All right. Um, so, all right. This is how air signs feel about that person. So, let's get started. Um, yes, Father Saber. Oh, girl, I gotta go to your page and look at your father. Is he still with your mother? Anywho, let me get started. Okay. So, air signs, this is how y'all feel about your person. Um, eight of swords. For some reason, you are all in your head overthinking when it comes to this connection. <sighs> y'all gonna make me have to clarify, and I didn't want to fucking clarify. Because um, I don't know why y'all in your head. Um, but y'all are. Y'all all in your head about something. And it's just like, it's almost like you're in a mental prison and it's starting to drive you crazy. Then with the knight of swords, it's like, I don't know what the fuck your person did, but you're feeling like you want to cuss them the fuck out. Like you're angry with them about something. It's like some shit you want to get off your chest. And you know when y'all have this conversation, this shit is going to turn left. But at the same time with this four ones, I feel like you're so, you burnt out. Is your dad still with your mother? What? I wanted to know. That's a valid question. <laughs> Anywho. So with this four ones, the four ones means um this like whatever y'all going through, it's like y'all have so much love for them. So that's why you so frustrated because it's like you love the fuck out of them. You feel like they're your person. You two are twin flame. Yes, together, 40 years and married 37. He's obsessed with her, but it's the reason I don't put up with shit. Damn, shut me down. Why don't you? <laughs> I love that for y'all. I love that for y'all family. I do. I love that for y'all. Anywho, so with the four of wands, it's like, all right, y'all feel like nobody compares to them. It's like, even when y'all try to date other people, y'all start trying to compare and then you realize it's no comparison. But y'all got to understand nobody is going to be this person because of how powerful y'all connection is with one another. Um, and this is the card of the home. So for some of you, it's just like, y'all like fantasize or daydream about living with this person being a family with this person being married to this person like y'all truly have a lot of love and y'all have great sexual chemistry as well and then with the eight of wands it's like you really want to talk to them it's like 
Some of y'all want to call them right away, but you like, nope, I'm not calling unless they call me. Like, you letting your pride get in the way when you really got some shit that you want to get off your chest. And with this eight of ones, it's like, y'all so passionate about each other. So it's like, if you want to talk to them, swallow your fucking pride and just call them. Like, swallow your pride. Or even if you two are already together, it's just like some shit that you really want to get off your chest because... You're overthinking the situation. And I just heard it might not even be what you think it is. So instead of like overthinking, learn to communicate without arguing. Because some of y'all just be like listening to respond instead of listening to really see how somebody feels or what they're trying to say. Um, because there needs to be better communication right now. But let me do this eight of swords. I'm trying to see what y'all hit about. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Tell me about the Eight of Swords. My pride will not let me. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. Y'all just feel like... No, really, they don't make men like that no more. I want a man to bring me in and serenade and treat me like the Pisces card. I know that's right, stinking. You deserve every bit of it. You you really do. You seem like a kind-hearted person. Um, But what I was ready to say, but okay. So with the Wheel of Fortune, so with the Eight of Swords, it's like y'all in your head because I feel like y'all want a deeper commitment. Or if y'all not together, y'all want to reconcile. But when y'all reconcile, y'all want them to stick around and do right by you. Um, but you just feel like, to the point, like, it's never gonna happen. You just feel like, to the, like, almost like you're giving up on love. Like, this shit is not gonna happen. Like, I'm tired of hearing have patience. I'm tired of hearing divine timing. But with the will of fortune, it definitely represents divine timing. And you have so much love for them because this is soulmate energy. And the four ones is twin flame energy. So I get it. Like, y'all are frustrated right now. And it's just so much y'all wanna get off y'all chest. But some of y'all are allowing your pride and ego to get in the way. So, let's see how your person feels about you. So, how does air signs person feel about them? <clears throat> how does air signs person feel about them? Erica, don't roll your eyes because you ain't going to be doing um, air, air boy like that. You want to learn to, y'all, you're going to learn to communicate better, okay? He is trying. He gets on here every day and let us know how much he's trying for you. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> how does air signs person feel about them? How does air signs person feel about them? Damn, I'm not taking all these cards. Or should I? Do I want all these cards? All right, let me see. This is how your person feel about y'all, okay? Y'all ready? Bet. Ten of Cups. They feel like you're that person. They have a lot of love for you. They daydream about you a lot. At one point in time, they just was like, you know what? This is the person I want to be married to. You always on his side. I found you first. No, I'm not. He said that I'd be on your side. I'd be, I'd be very mutual, neutral with y'all. But yeah, because y'all just got so much love for each other. And I just love y'all energy and vibe together. Um, all right, so your person feels like you're the love of their life. You're the person that they want to marry. You're the person that um, they want to have a family with. Like, they want to give you a happily ever after. But then you got the death card. So for some of y'all, something ended with you and your person. And they're feeling it. They are feeling it. Whether it was your fault, their fault, something, I don't know. If you are still with your person, then lately y'all may have been talking about getting a divorce or just talking about breaking up. Um, but with this death card, something has definitely ended or is about to end for someone, or at least that's how they feel. Your person may feel, if something, okay, if you're already with your person, um, can you take donations at the end of this reading? I sure can't think. And something, that, if you are already with your person, right? Your person feels that you may be ready to leave them. They do. Um, and then with this Queen of Pentacles, they hold you in high regard. They think that you are the shit. They think that you're very nurturing. You're very grounded. 
They feel like if, if you are a if you're a parent, they think that you are a hell of a parent. They feel like you really know how to take care of a household and take care of them at the same time. Um, but they also feel like, damn, I've taken air signs for granted. They know they've taken you for granted. So for some of you, that's why y'all left this person. And then you have the two of swords. So the two of swords means that somebody has a decision to make. So for some of you, your person can feel like you are dealing with someone else and you need to make a decision. Um, and then you got the Queen of Cups here. So you got the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups and, and you got the Two of Swords in between. So they feel like, oh, you know what? All right, for some of y'all, they feel that you think that they have two people and they may. And they feel like, you know, you want them to choose. You need them to make a decision right now, like right fucking now. And they so scared because they don't know what to do. They're stuck. Um, now, for others of you, they may feel like you have two people and you need to make a decision. So I'm going to clarify. Spirit, something about this death card. Why is the death card here? Death card is clarified by the Knight of Wands. And remember, y'all had the Knight of Wands on y'all side at first when I first started. So, that card means that they feel like you ended things because you think they are hoe. You feel like they sleep around with a lot of people. Um, and that's why things had to end or that's why y'all want to end things. Tell me about this two of swords. Why is the two of swords here? Why is the two of swords here? Tell me about this two of swords. Why is the two of swords here? Tell me about this two of swords. Why is the two of swords here? Tell me about this two of swords. Two of swords is clarified by the king of wands. Um, no, that's your ass trying me. Ooh, what's, your, what's, what's, what's going on with the married couple in the comments? Okay, so... Two of Swords is clarified by the King of Wands. So, they feel that... All right, it's two different storylines. Okay. Hmm, hold on, y'all, because this kind of got me a little stuck right here. Um, Because I'm... I, okay, I just heard in my head, like, they feel that right now at this moment, you want more than what they can give you. Um... But for others of you, it's like, I'm trying to show up. I'm trying to be faithful. You're not, a, you're not seeing the changes that I'm making. And the only reason I'm saying that, because your person is going from a knight of wands to the king of wands. Knight of wands is a fucking hoe. They're a hoe. King of wands is someone that used to be a hoe, but now is faithful, that wants to settle down, that wants to be married, wants to have a family. So they just feel like you don't see the changes that they're trying to make. And they want, to, they want you to know, like, it's not going to happen overnight, but it's happening. So just bear with me. Like, just bear with me. But some of y'all like, fuck you. I'm going. Oh, y'all already left. So let's see what the final outcome is going to be between y'all two. Fair, what is the final likely outcome for air signs and their person? What is the final likely outcome for air signs and their person? Hmm. Give me, give me two more cards for the final likely outcome for air signs and air person. Give me two more cards for air signs and air person. One more card for the final likely outcome for air signs and air person spirit. Hmm. What the fuck? Um. Okay, one, your person, whether y'all get back together, you don't get back together, whatever, your person is going to continuously always keep tabs on you, period. Eight of Pentacles is like they want to put more effort into this relationship, but with the Seven of Swords, it's like the trust between y'all is so fucking broken that with this Seven of Swords, 
you're always going to feel like they're being sneaky and deceptive. You're always going to feel like they're lying to you about something. You're always going to just feel like something is not right. So they just feel like, damn, how can I win? Like, how the fuck can I win? Um, do I want to clarify this or just, is that good? Let me see. Tell me about the page of swords. Why is the page of swords here? <laughs> Page of Swords is clarified by the Eight of Cups. So yeah, y'all are really, some of y'all already walked away, but some of y'all are still thinking about walking away or your person could be thinking about walking away at this point because they're just tired of constantly having to prove themselves. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Cups and the Two of Cups. All right, listen. Your person is not going to walk away. So when I say even y'all going to walk away, your person going to walk away, it's not going to be your person. Your person loves you unconditionally. So even if y'all are on the outs or separated or whatever, they really want you back. Like, they'll never stop loving you. And with this Two of Cups, Two of Cups, you know, twin flame energy, um, very strong connection. They want to have a union with you. They love you. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is it... Seven of Swords is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles and the Hangman. So the thing is, y'all pretty much want the same thing, but you don't know how to get that trust back. So with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like you want them to continue to invest into this relationship. Um, but with the Hangman, it's just like you're stuck because you're like going back and forth like, am I making the right decision? Should I do this? Do I really believe that my person's going to change? Are we going to continue to have the same problems if I start to invest my time in this again? I don't know what to do. So you're stressing out. So right here at the bottom of the deck, you got the five of cups. Somebody feels regretful for how this shit is turning out between y'all. They feel a lot of regret. They are sad about it. They want y'all to be able to work through this. Um, so yeah, that's what I have for y'all air signs. I hope that that helps. Daddy, there you go. So the moral of the story is y'all got to figure out how to get that trust back. It's possible. It's hard, but it's possible. Hold on, I got to open my window because air's on that really made me start sweating. Guess what your son, I mean, I said guess what your son did. Guess what your grandfather, I mean, I said your grandfather, shit. Guess what your grandson did. Right. He said, where pop up at? I said, no, he said, you know where your father at? I said, no. He was like, mm. Because you, you ain't see how he had that smile on his face when you asked him where he was going. I said, I didn't pay attention to that. He said, you got to start paying to, pay attention to people's actions. So he like, watch this. I'm ready to call grandma because he probably um, with his wife. So I said, don't call her and ask her if you would. He said, I know how to do this. I'm going to just, just watch. So he called grandma like, Oh, I was just checking on you because I missed you. He, where you at? So she said, oh, I'm at work, grandson. He said, oh, all right, I'm going to call you back. <laughs> <laughs> so tell him he want to know where you went. Over that question. Hold on. <laughs> you said one time she said daddy and you and the father answered. <laughs> um, how do you build trust once it's broken in a relationship? Stay home for a month. That is so toxic. <laughs> Did y'all hear him? He said you gotta stay home for a month. Oh it's God. And it's sort of, it's no hope. It's no hope out here. It's no hope out here. Mm. Yeah. Do all the right things. But yeah. just for a month. Movies. No, not just for a month. Longer. Long, that's, <laughs> not, that's the worst advice you ever gave. <laughs> oh, man. Somebody said they stay home for a month, it ain't work. 
All right. Um, consistency builds trust. Now, I like that. That is true. Consistency builds trust. And actions. You can build it by, by your actions. Not words, but actions. They said, there he go. He's trying to clean it up now. I'm talking about longer. <laughs> All right. Um, who are we ready to do? Um, what are signs was first last time? <clears throat> you know who hardly ever go first, though? Fire signs. All right. We're going to do fire. Let's see. Let's get started. Fire and air is always, you are right about that. They always marry each other. And majority of the time, I'm surprised it didn't come out in this reading. But most of y'all readings, the Queen of Wands always comes out. Whoa, actually, the King of Wands came out. So it's the same thing. But y'all always either get the Queen of Wands or the King of Wands that comes out in y'all reading. So I just, um, you got new hair. Yes, thank you. So I feel like a lot of you air signs are either dealing with a fire sign or y'all got a lot of um, <clears throat> fire in y'all chart because fire and air reads are always very similar. Yeah, we just finished air and it was good, girl. We ready to do, um, we ready to do, um, what did I just say fire signs? All right, come on, let's get started because I like this style of reading. It's fun. How does fire signs feel about their person? How does fire signs feel about their person? How does fire signs feel about their person? How does fire signs... Mm -mm. How does fire signs feel about their person? Do you listen to your sun, moon, and rising? Um, not so much my moon, but I listen to my sun and rising. Question, when do the candle petition start? On the next new moon, which is Monday. Spirit, give me two more cards for how fire signs feel about the person on their mind. How does fire signs feel about the person that's on their mind? How does... Mm. Give me one more card. How does fire signs feel about the person on their mind? Hmm. Okay, no, it's not too late. You can go in there and buy it. Just make sure you do it before Monday because I'm trying to get everybody's petition written before Monday. The majority of them I got done already. Um, and this is the last, and I did the last restock, so I'm not restocking it anymore. Show that air reading was lit. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, so fire signs. This is how y'all feel about y'all person. You ready? The video is messing up. What you mean it's messing up? Can y'all not see me or hear me? Can y'all see me? Hello, can y'all see me or hear me? Okay, cool. All right, so fire signs. This is how y'all feel about y'all person. Two of cups. Y'all are in love with this person. Y'all are in love, baby. Like, like, like that um, Love Jones type of love. Y'all remember that movie? Y'all feel like, y'all know that, that they're your person. That's your twin flame. Y'all have a very strong connection with them. Um, mm, I got a shell in my mouth. <laughs> um, y'all have a very strong connection with them. Like, this is the person you want to be with or you're already with. This is the person you can see yourself marrying. Then you have the chariot card. Chariot card, y'all feel like y'all want things to, like, Y'all want forward movement in y'all relationship with this person, but you feel like it's some sort of obstacle standing in the way of you two being together with this person. And it's like you really want them to fix whatever this fucking obstacle is so y'all can be together. Um, 
And then with the emperor card, the emperor card is like you look at them as somebody that is very well established, probably have some money. Um, it's like, you know, they care about you. You know, they want the best for you. But some of y'all may feel like this person is married or in a relationship or you just feel like they just be so fucking stubborn and can come off as an asshole sometimes. So it frustrates you. And then you have the nine of swords. So if the nine of swords here, it's like you're in your head about something. You be having trouble sleeping. Um, it's like your anxiety is just through the roof lately over this person. But why? I got. All right, let me figure out what this obstacle is. Because like I said with this emperor, they could be in a relationship or they could be married. And that's probably what y'all are worried about. But let me see. Spirit, tell me about this chariot card. Why is the chariot card here? Tell me about this chariot card. Why is this chariot card? Ooh. Strength card. It's like y'all want them to find the strength to, like I said, to overcome this obstacle. Y'all want them to find the strength to take things to the next level. Y'all want them to find the strength to work on this connection. He just had a baby. Oh my Lord, girl, you gotta leave him where you found him at. Tell me about the emperor. Why is the emperor here? Tell me about the emperor. Why is the emperor here? Tell me about the emperor. Why is the emperor here? King of Wands. Hmm. You got the emperor and the king of wands? Now, this might be for 1% of y'all. Don't kill me. <clears throat> Some of y'all might think this your person is gay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But, and I said this is for 1% of y'all. Y'all may have these thoughts. Your person is gay. But if that's not the situation, that may not be the situation. Let me clarify this King of Wands. Hold on, y'all. Tell me about this King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Tell me. Girl, I thought so. You really, you really think you're a man gay? Oh, my God. Tell me about the King of Wands. And I'm not judging. Maybe they're about. Oh, my God. So, I, you're right. Oh, I'm fucking psychic. Y'all really think that. Oh, my Lord. Tell me about the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Tell me about the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Girl, are you saying he may be gay or are you saying he is gay? I'm, no. I'm not saying he's gay. What I'm saying is y'all may be having thoughts like in your back of your mind you'd be like i wonder if this fucking man or woman ever been with the same sex before that and i'm not saying that they have please do not take that but that's what i'm getting for like a like one percent of y'all that's it all right so okay y'all fucked up this whole reading <laughs> For the past few readings, Fire Signs readings has been so crazy and confusing and what the fuck. Y'all used to have the most easiest readings and now I just, for the life of me, we must gotten, I must, whatever new followers I have now, I don't know what type of shit y'all be on, but Fire Signs readings has been so crazy lately. All right, so let's see. Oh my god, hold on, y'all. I really gotta think about this now. I was on a I was on a roll at first, but hold on. Someone said it gay. Oh my god. Alright, hold on, y'all. Alright, I do. I feel wait, hold on. Let me give me one second. Tell me about this nine of swords. Why is the nine of swords here? Tell me about this nine of swords. Why is the nine of swords here? Tell me about this nine of swords. Tell me about this nine of swords. Tell me about this nine of swords. Okay, so listen, y'all. Like I said, some of y'all feel like the obstacle that is standing in the way of y'all being together is the fact that your person may be in a relationship or may be married. Y'all feel like with this king of wands here, 
Y'all have so much fun with this person. Y'all vibe well with this person. Um, the sex is great with this person. And it's just like, y'all feel like one, they be stalking you or... It's like, with this Knight of Cups to this Page of Swords, this person is always like in and out, in and out, in and out. One minute... It's like, it's like they gaslight you or brag from you, whatever the fuck it's called these days. So it's like, one minute they come in, charm you, sweep you off your feet, and then they disappear. But when they disappear with this page of stories, they continuously keep tabs on you. So with this nine of swords clarified by this queen of swords, it's like you are stressed out. You're in, you are in your head. You're experiencing anxiety, and you're feeling like almost a sense of regret, but towards yourself, like... Or disappointment because it's like with this queen of swords to the nine of swords it's like you don't know how to set boundaries with this person it's like you look at them like you love them so much but you just don't know how to set boundaries so it's like you let them come back in with open arms and then when they disappear now you having trouble sleeping and you don't know how to handle it because you don't know how to set boundaries so now you like beating yourself up because you feel like, what the fuck? Why do I keep letting myself go through this when I already know what it's going to be? Um, so, yeah, I feel like that's why you're stressing out. This, this is how you see your person. So just to reiterate, you have so much love for them. It's twin flame energy. But you feel like it's an obstacle standing in the way of y'all being together and you want them to find the strength to overcome the obstacle. What I feel like the obstacle is for majority of you is that your person is either married or in a relationship. For 1% of you, you may question whether your person is gay. Um, and y'all, like I said, y'all don't, your person be in and out of your life. And when they come back in, like you never know how to set boundaries with them. So that's how you feel about your person. So let's see how your person feels about you. And I hope that made sense. I know it took a minute, but fire signs, y'all reading has been off the hook lately. Spirit, how does fire signs person feel about them? How does fire signs person feel about them? Hold on. Oh my God. Give me two more cards to tell me how fire signs person feels about them. How does fire signs person feel about them? Yes, this is going on YouTube if it allows me to download it. How does fire signs person feel about them? No, Liz. Sometimes twin flames, some twin flames don't ever end up together. Tell me how does fire signs person feel about them? And I don't, I really can't go into explain that right now because I want to get through these readings. So maybe I'll make a video about it and put it on my page tomorrow. Give me one more card to tell me how does fire signs person feel about them. Tell me how does fire signs person feel about them. Tell me how does fire signs person feel about them. Give me one more card, spirit. Hi. Thank you. Some of y'all messing with an air sign. Because y'all got the same cards in that row. All right. So look. Your person feels that. Um, they feel like you are stuck. They feel like a part of you really, really want to let them go. Like they know that you really want to let them go, but they also know that they got you stuck. They know that they got you. They know that they have this grip on you and it's hard for you to let them go. They know that. They know that you're just hanging there because the love is so strong between you two. So they, they know they got a grip on you. And then with this King of Cups, they love the fuck out of you. Like, it's unconditional love. They're never going to stop loving you. Um, this is how they feel about you. Like, the love runs deep that they have for you. Seven of Pentacles, they want to... Why am I here itched? With the Seven of Pentacles, they want to continue to invest in this relationship with you. They do. They don't want... They feel like they already invested a lot and they don't want to stop. However, the death card is here. So either something has already ended between you two or it's about to end. So I'm going to have to clarify because I don't know why that death card is here. Tell me about the hangman. Why is the hangman here? And you know what, um, Dal, that could be also it. They could feel like they're stuck dealing with you. Like, 
I'm surprised I'm, I'm seeing the devil card in my head. It's like they may have some sort of obsession with you that they can't leave you alone. Like even when they try to stay away from you, because you said in your how you feel about them that they always um, is in and out your life. So it's like they be trying to stay away from you. But with this hangman, it's like they can't. It's like you got them stuck as well. So I do feel like the feelings are mutual between you two. It's like both of y'all are stuck. Both of y'all have a grip on each other. They love you unconditionally. They know they're never going to stop investing in this. But death, it's like either it's over or they feel like it's ready to end. I don't know. I got to clarify that because I'm not understanding why the death card is there. No, the devil card is not Scorpio. The devil card is Capricorn. Tell me about this hangman. Why is the hangman here? Tell me about this hangman. Why is the hangman here? Tell me about the hangman. Why is the hangman here? Damn, why give me all these cards? Okay, so the hangman. Yeah, they're stuck. <laughs> they are stuck, y'all. Okay, look. Hangman is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and the Moon card. Eight of Pentacles means that they know that you put a lot into this relationship with them. They know it. They, they are absolutely aware. But like in a perfect world, they want to start showing up and putting more effort. They want to show up and be more consistent. But with this nine of wands right here, for whatever reason, they just feel like they can't do it right now. They're resisting. They want, they want you so bad and they want to be with you so bad. But for whatever reason, with this nine of wands, they are resisting. With this moon card, it's like they want to start listening to their intuition and really like, you know, go with the flow, take a leap of faith. Because with the moon card, they have deeper feelings for you than they've ever told you. They are truly, truly, truly in love with you. Twin flame energy. And they stalk you a lot on social media. Tell me about the king of cups. Why is the king of cups here? Tell me about the king of cups. Why is the king of cups here? Damn, King of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. Y'all, your per I'm not playing. Your person loves the fuck out of you. They want to reunite with you. They want to be able to fulfill you emotionally. They want to be in a relationship with you like they do. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. They got more love cards on their side than your side. <laughs> So they like it, even though most of y'all feel like y'all are really in love with this person, I think they got y'all beat. I think they're more in love with you than you are with them, even though it doesn't feel like that. But it is. I feel like your person is really starting to get in tune with their feelings. I feel like that's what's going to come. They're really starting to understand their feelings. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Because y'all going from the Seven of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles is like, all right, I'm going to start investing. Eight of Pentacles is like, I'm really ready to start putting effort in. Tell me about this Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Tell me about this Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Tell me about this Seven of Pentacles. Um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Oh my God. Look at all these cards. I'm gonna just take all of them. This is crazy, y'all. Y'all not gonna believe this. Seven of Pentacles, that talks about investing. Guess what it was clarified by? Hermit card. Hermit card means that there's... I'm so psychic because I just said they are starting to really get in tune with their feelings and figure it out like they want you. Hermit card. And then the hermit card flew out. Hermit card means that they're going deep within. They're really tapping into their spiritual side. They're really figuring life out. They're really figuring out what they want. Then you have the six of wands. Six of wands means victory and success. They place you on a pedestal. Like they know at the end of the day, y'all going to be together. And if some of y'all, I feel like some of y'all probably be posting on social media, some little thirst traps. It got their attention and it drives them crazy. Higher fence. This person thinks about marrying you often. So even though they run, they think about it. And with the Knight of Wands, I'm not getting this as like the Knight of Wands that's a hoe. I'm getting this as the Knight of Wands that's ready to make an impulsive decision and come towards you and just be like, I, I need you in my life. Then you have the Sun card. 
the most positive and happiest card in the deck. And guess what? They got the moon on their side too. Remember the moon came out for them. So they got the sun and the moon. Y'all want to be in a relationship with this person. I'm telling you, y'all are going to be in a relationship with this person. And guess what? Remember when I say, remember when I said, I feel like they obsessed with you. Guess what's at the bottom of the deck? Devil card. I literally just said that. Oh, wait, no, that's not the devil card. <laughs> wait, what? I knew I just seen a devil card somewhere. Maybe my mind playing tricks on me. All right, disregard that. That's not the devil card. Did I just? I'm not tripping. Either way, this is a soulmate card. It's the lover's card. So, either way. All right, so let's see what the final likely outcome is. Because that's how they feel. They want to be in a relationship with you. They love you. Um, they don't want... Oh, wait, I didn't clarify that death card. Hold on. Tell me about this death card. You said it did come out, so where is it? Because I know I wasn't tripping. I don't know. Tell me about the uh, death card. Why is the death card here? Tell me about the death card. Tower. Yep, your person is ready to go through something that's going to really make them see things from a new perspective. God is ready to make them get their shit together. I'm telling you. They're about to go through something. So for some of y'all who person, because on y'all side, y'all said that y'all felt like the obstacle was because your person was in a relationship or they were married. That shit is about to come crashing down. That's why they're ready to be like having like an aha moment. Like, no, I got to be with fire signs. Like fire signs is my person. I know they're my person. So I feel like if they are involved with somebody else, that is ending. That is ending. <clears throat> Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for fire signs and the person that's on their mind? What is the final likely outcome for fire signs and a person that's on their mind? What is the final likely outcome for fire signs and a person that's on their mind? <clears throat> okay. Now I'm not crazy. Thank you, boy. See, my ancestors don't be playing. Now it came out the devil card. So the final likely outcome, oh, and look, y'all, this is crazy. And the lover's card is back on the bottom of the deck. I, I can't make this shit up. My ancestors be, yeah, they be doing the same thing for me. Devil to the six of swords. Your person is obsessed with you. They are in love with you. This is more twin flame energy. They are leaving something or someone alone. And with the Six of Swords, they're coming towards you. Because the Six of Swords, for me, the way I read it, is one, reconciliation. Two, somebody leaving like a baby mother or wife to come and be with the person that they're truly in love with. Because they can't stay away from you like they're obsessed with you. And not only that, with the Knight of Wands and the Devil card, for a lot of y'all, like, they're obsessed with the sex. Like, the sex drives them crazy. Um, and then they already stalk you a lot. They keep tabs on you. This person is not going to be away from much longer. Like, y'all going to be together. Bottom of the deck is the lover's card. Lover's card, soulmate energy, kindred spirits, strong connection, very amazing sexual chemistry. Damn, my back hurt. Um, so, yeah, y'all going to be with this person. They're just trying to heal. Just understand that when they go through this tower uh, moment with this other person, what this four of swords is saying, give them time to heal because they're going to need to heal. But they are planning something with that two of wands. And with this high priestess, I feel like y'all got a very spiritual connection. So that's what I have for y'all fire signs. That was a little rocky. It started off a little rocky at first. I was a little confused, but it came around. y'all been doing that damn candle work mm-hmm <laughs> and now y'all got your person all obsessed with you because i did write that on most of y'all petitions about somebody being obsessed with about your person being obsessed that's why when i posted that first review today and the girl was like um what's that her man um says she like cracked to him because i'm telling you on that petition on most of y'all put something about i can't remember my exact wording but about the person being obsessed with y'all all right, we gonna do um, we gonna do water signs. 
So can somebody write water signs? Yo, that devil really came out, and I said that. I'm like, I'm surprised the devil didn't come out, and it came out. Oh, Nika, the candle been working for you. Girl, did you leave me a review so I could post it? You know I love when y'all leave me a review. Last time you saw, I be, last time you saw, I be saying, I'm having, I always say, yeah. Sade, I have a small doubt. I really want to buy a rec reconciliation candle, but can you help to understand what's the right in position? I write the position for y'all. You don't need to know what's the right in the position. That's nothing you gotta stress about. I write the positions for y'all. Now, I can't be telling y'all how I write my petitions now, okay? That's my own little judge, <laughs> okay? I can't tell y'all all my secrets, okay, Stink? But what y'all need to know, it's, it's not hard to write a petition, but a petition is not supposed to be long, like, at all. It could just be one or two sentences. It's not meant to be long, but you got... I thought we had to write it. No, I write the petition for y'all. So when y'all purchase the candle, right? I will, excuse me, I'll write the petition and then I clean the candle and then I dress the candle. I place the petition on a table and I put the candle on top of the petition and I light the candle for seven days. I come up with my own wording for each individual. It depends on what y'all, when y'all write me and tell me what y'all want to manifest and I'll read what you want to manifest and I'll be like, okay. And then I'll think of how to write the petition. So I do all of that for y'all. Only thing I ask y'all to give me is your name and birth date, your person's name and what you want to manifest. And then I'll come up with the petition. I deleted all my messages. I don't know if you got my review, but I have a bigger update. That can't really work. Girl, please um send me a review, please. Thank you. Because I really want to show people, like, because I know some people probably got scammed by other spiritual people or readers or whatever with this shit. But I need y'all to know, like, this shit is real. Do your candles actually last seven days? Yeah. Like, every time I'm on live when I'm doing candle work, y'all see them right in the background. Y'all be seeing when they lit for the whole seven days. I come on here damn near every day. No, I didn't do Earth yet. Unc even wrote me and told me that his candle started working. I didn't even light his yet. I just wrote his petition. And he said his money already started doing a little better. Or something with his job. But the new candles will start Monday. So if y'all want one... Please do it by Monday. And I'm not restack stocking again because I don't have that much space. Yeah, just a little intermission because I, I ain't start the science, so I ain't interrupting nothing. I did my candle as well, and I'm waiting on mine to come through. I see it slowly starting. I love that for you. Yeah, Monday is is the new moon. As soon as you click on the website, it's literally right there. You can't miss it. It's like I offer four different candles. Okay, last question. Where do we send the info at the first? Once you get to check out, it's going to um you won't even be able to bypass it. It's going to be a box for you to write the info. I'll ask for the information at checkout, and you have to put the information in the box. So it'll allow you on the website to put the information in. Yeah, you can do more than one. Like some people do reconciliation in the money one, or they may do more passion in the money one. Ever since I did this scripting, script writing, my boo thing, but on, I'm telling y'all, yo, I live by scripting. I really need to, like, 
do you like a class on how to script like and y'all gotta do script every all right let me get started because I, I be so passionate talking about ways to manifest that i forget about the reading so let me do water signs because i swear i think i'm a pro at scripting all right so look for y'all that want to know about scripting if y'all stay around i will discuss it after I finish water and um, earth. I do, I do. I get so excited and passionate about because I love like manifesting. I love scripting. And I think I like scripting so much because even as a, ever since a child, I've always liked to write. And I think I live in a fucking fairy tale world anyway. So to write my life out how I know it should be, to me that's fun. And it's therapeutic as well. Um... What you mean you can't find it on the website? Are you on the right website? <clears throat> it's B-L-U-A-L-L-E-Y Tarot, T-A-R-O-T dot com. And as soon as you go to the website, it's literally on the very first page. All right. <clears throat> Look, let me show y'all. I don't know what y'all are doing. I'm about to go to the website and show you. Because there's no way in the world you want to write website. All right, look. This, as soon as I type in, this is what comes up. This is the front of the website. I hope y'all can see this. Oh, this phone is broke. See, as soon as you scroll, it's right there. They're all right there. It's like you can't miss it. All right, now I'm ready to get started with water signs. I'm saying la la land. Spirit, how does water signs feel about the person on their mind? How does water signs feel about the person on their mind? Shira, I will tell you, if you ask me when I finish these readings or on the next intermission, I'll tell you. But let me get through water signs. Spirit, how does water signs feel about the person on their mind? How does water signs feel about the person on their mind? Yes, it's in my um, bio. So the link is right in my bio on my page. How does earth sign? I mean, shit, I said earth sign. Some of y'all might be dealing with an earth sign. How does water sign feel about the person on their mind? Mm. Mm. Okay. So, girl, I got lasered on all my coochie and the thing works. Oh my God, I feel super tight like a virgin. Oh, I got laser hair removement. I said movement. Laser hair removal too, all over. Um. All right, so what are signs? Y'all feel like y'all person need to heal. It's like y'all want y'all person to heal. So I don't know what that means. Like, I don't know if you feel like they're toxic. I don't know if they got like some deep rooted trauma they never worked through, but whatever. Y'all feel like you want them to heal. Some of y'all feel like, like if y'all not with this person with this temperance card, it's like y'all want to reconcile with them as well. Um, you, Excuse me, y'all want the communication between you two to get better. And then, oh, I keep burping. Somebody's tongue tied. Can't get their words out. Feel like they chest caving in. Um, okay, and then with this will of fortune, y'all feel like your person is your soulmate. Y'all feel like, you just feel like God, it was, okay, y'all feel like God placed this person in your life for a reason, but sometimes you just be feeling like, all right, God, or ancestors, whoever you believe in, y'all be feeling like, listen, I know that I love, love this person. I know that this person loves me, but why can't we get it right? Why? Like, what is going on? Is this ever going to be something? Like, why can't we get it right? I know that they're the one for me and it's just like God is saying with the temperance and the will of fortune, like it's going to require some patience. It's going to require some healing. The universe is working on it. 
And then with the Three of Cups, it's like, y'all feel like, Y'all have such a good time with this person. Y'all miss laughing with this person, partying with this person, maybe standing on a phone all night with this person. I don't know. Y'all also with this three of cups, y'all want to reunite with this person. Now for some of y'all, and this is not going to be all of y'all because I got to clarify, but some of y'all feel like um, your person has someone else, like they're in a relationship. Not, I'm not getting married. But I do feel like some of y'all feel like your person is in a relationship with someone else with this three of cups. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, or you could just feel like your person may have like some commitment issues. Like maybe they like to be outside in these streets than home. So y'all can never get it together because y'all just feel like they always out and about. And they prefer the single life rather than really being with you. Even though it's so much love between the two of you. And then with this five of swords, y'all feel like your person plays a lot of games. You feel like they are childish sometimes. You feel like they make you chase them. Um, and you're just getting tired of it. You, you're tired of the bullshit. You're really tired of the bullshit. Do I need to clarify this? Because that was kind of direct. That was easy. It <laughs> wasn't like fire signs. Um, that was really direct. Let me see what you want them to heal from. Tell me about this temperance card. Why is the temperance card here? Okay. Temperance card is clarified by the Magician, King of Cups, and the Moon card. <clears throat> the Magician. <laughs> doing spell work on your person or candle work or other forms of manifestation because y'all really do want to be with them y'all are interested in y'all are focused on them y'all are manifesting a relationship with this person because with this king of cups y'all showing up in your own energy y'all have an immense amount of love for your person like the it's unconditional love and y'all feel like to the point you're never going to stop loving them some of y'all what i just got in my head with, and with this temperance card, some of y'all, I feel like the love got so deep, shit got real, but it can never get, like, what's the word I'm looking for? It can never, like, I don't know. It never just got to the point where you wanted it to. So some of y'all, I feel like y'all really went through it with this person. May, like, some of y'all probably prayed to God at one point, like, please let me stop loving this person. Please let me stop loving him. Please let me stop loving her. Like, it just became too much because the love that you had for them was just so deep, but they wasn't giving you what you want. So, it's like, you kind of had to pray your, pray your way up out of that relationship. But at the same time, it's just like, you still manifest in them. You still want them. So, it's like a part of you is telling God, like, please, like, I can't take this hurt no more from them. I can't take the fact that we're not going to be together. Like, please, like, just, just, just make it stop. But with the moon card, it's like... Y'all still keep tabs on them. And when I say tabs, I don't mean like you got to stalk them on social media. Some of y'all do. But even getting readings on somebody is keeping tabs on them. Um, and with the moon card, it's like they're constantly in your head. You constantly think about them. You have deeper feelings for them than you let on. Like you might kick it to your friends like... I ain't really fucking with him. Oh, and da, 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 da. But really, like, yo, you can't shake them feelings from, from this person. Spirit, tell me about the Will of Fortune. Why is the Will of Fortune here? Not if you want the anonymous page to watch people's stories, let you know. You y'all are messy. <laughs> tell me about the Will of Fortune. Why is the Will of Fortune here? Tell me about the Will of Fortune. Why is the Will of Fortune here? Tell me about this Will of Fortune. Why is the Will of Fortune here? Tell me about this Will of Fortune. Ace of Cups. Like, yeah, like, y'all want, want them to just fulfill you emotionally for once. Y'all want to be in a committed relationship with them. Some of y'all even want to have a child by them. Y'all want to be able to leave the past in the past and just start a clean slate. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? Tell 
tell me about the three of cups. Why is the three of cups here? Tell me about the three of cups. Why is the three of cups here? Tell me about the three. I'm a Sag, but y'all they told me my true sign is a Scorpio fan. <laughs> Three of Cups is clarified by the Empress. So, some of y'all feel like your person is messing with their baby mother. Some of y'all may feel like your person is married. Because remember, I said with this Three of Cups, for some of y'all, y'all feel like um, your person got you in a third-party situation. So, it's clarified by the Empress. So, some of y'all feel like your person is messing with their baby mothers. Others of you may feel like your person is married. Oh, y'all feel like family. That's cute. <laughs> Tell me about the five of swords. Why is the five of swords here? Tell me about the five of swords. Why is the five of swords here? Tell me about the five of swords. Why is the five of swords here? Oh. So remember with the five of swords, I said y'all feel like they sabotage a lot. They play a lot of games. They're a little childish. They want you to chase them. Um... It was clarified by the star in the three of swords. So three of swords means that they broke your heart. Some Their words, actions, attentions broke your heart. It was just the fact that they have you in a third party that it broke your heart. Um, but with the star card, it's like you still see a future with them. And it takes me back to the very first card, the temperance card. Healing. So not only you saying you want them to heal, but it's really you need to heal. You Because the star card represents healing. It is time for you to heal your broken heart. If you know this person ain't shit, stop manifesting them. Stop. And I know it's easier said than done, but some of y'all gonna have to go cold turkey. Because I feel like a lot of y'all are really, really, really hurt behind them being with this third party. Like, hurt. You hear me? Like, really hurt. And it's time for y'all to do some healing. It's time for y'all to focus on yourself. It's time for y'all to remember who the fuck y'all are. Like, baby, you are a star. You, you're the star. Fuck him and his dusty ass baby mama. Like, for real, y'all, you're the star. So start remembering who the hell you are. Start healing. Writing is therapeutic. I promise you it is. I can give you a, a, a technique on what I use and what I tell some of my clients, depending on the type of readings they have. Like, certain ways that they can heal from it. But I do feel strongly like a lot of y'all need to heal. So, um, all right, let's see how they feel about you. Spirit, how does water signs person feel about them? How does water, why am I getting a little emotional? Oh, girl, cry it out. It's okay. That's all a part of healing. Cry that shit out. Scream to the top of your lungs. Punch a fucking wall. Bite a pillow. I don't care. Do what you need to do to let that shit out. Don't sit and suppress your feelings. Let it out. Call one of your homegirls up. Just vent. Just be like, listen, I don't want you to say nothing. I'm not looking for your opinion. I don't want no advice. I just need somebody to talk to. And when I'm done, I'm going to breathe and I'm just going to hang up and that's it. Sometimes you just got to do that. That is it and that's all. Let's see how they feel about you. Damn, I, I got y'all crying in here. I'm sorry. I didn't know this reading was going to be so deep. I'm sorry. Spirit, how does water signs person feel about them? How does water signs person feel about them? Well, you, well, if you don't have no friends, then guess what? Talk to God. Because God is always listening. Talk to God. Get on your knees and pray till you can't pray no more. And then when you finish praying, get out a little notebook or a piece of paper and just write. When I finish this, I'm going to give y'all a little method that I use, that I tell other, like my clients about. Spirit, how does water science person feel about them? How does water science person feel about them? Give me one more card to tell me how a water signs person feel about them. <clears throat> tell me how this water signs person feel about them. Damn, I ain't want to take all these cards, and I'm going to just do it. Hold on, I got to push this shit over. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay. <clears throat> so, first card is the hangman. Hangman means that your person feels stuck. They just don't know what to do. They're just hanging in there. They just don't know. They really feel stuck. Because I feel like they have a lot of love for you, but they are stuck. Then you have the two of pentacles. Your person is aware that they're juggling you and someone else. They're aware of that. And they know that they need to make a decision. But like I said, right now they are feeling stuck and can't make a decision. Nine of Wands, your person is resisting. Um, and they feel like, you're at the point where you're one foot in and one foot out with them. Um, but they're resisting cutting this other person off. They're resisting making you their priority. Then you have the sun card, the most happiest and positive card in the deck. They want to reconcile with you. They would love to be in a relationship with you. They would love to come back in a more positive um, light, but... They know that in order to do that, they have a lot of healing to do. And honestly, I'm going to have to clarify. I don't know if they're going to do it. We're going to have to see. Um, and then you have the two of wands. Two of wands means that they're planning something. But it also represents third party energy. Um, you two could possibly live at a distance from one another. Tell me about this hangman. Why is the hangman here? Tell me about the hangman. Why is the hangman here? Hangman is clarified by the nine of pentacles. So, <laughs> this is crazy. Look, hangman, like I said, they're stuck about something. It was clarified by the nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles means like they want to be single. Because with this nine of pentacles, they look at you as somebody that checks all their boxes. They feel like you have all your shit together. You're the perfect type for them. They feel like you are very beautiful. Like you do it for them. Like you are their person. But they're just not single right now. Tell me about the two of pentacles. Why is the two of pentacles here? Tell me about the two of pentacles. Why is the two of pentacles here? Two of pentacles is clarified by the knight of swords. They feel like a part of them wants to fight for you and fight for this connection, but they know they really don't got no legs to stand on. They also feel like when y'all two are on speaking terms, all y'all do is really argue. And a lot of times it has to do with this third party situation. It's like every time y'all get back on good terms, it turns left. But at the end of the day, they know it's their fault. Tell me about the nine of wands. Why is the nine of wands here? Tell me about the nine of wands. Why is the nine of wands here? Tell me about the nine of wands. Why is the nine of wands here? <laughs> nine of wands is clarified by the hermit, the knight of cups, and the four of wands. So, hermit card means that y'all are y'all are in separation right now for the majority of you. <sighs> when when you're in a hermit, I'm sorry, when a hermit card comes out, it means it is necessary for growth to start to take place. It is necessary for you guys to start healing. It is necessary for you to really start digging into your spiritual side and speaking to your spiritual team. It is imperative for you to understand who you are. So while y'all are separated, you are supposed to be working on yourself. Um... And it's the same with them. With y'all, like separation is needed in order for growth to take place. And they know that. With this Knight of Cups, they have all the love in the world for you. All the love in the world for you. But they also know that they can't always stick around as much as they would like to. So they always in and out. But with this Four of Wands, it's like in a perfect world. They want to be in a relationship with you. They want to have a family with you. They want to be married with you. This is the 11-11 card. This is the card of the home. They will love to wake up to you every morning. Go to sleep to you, next to you every night. That's what they would like. Tell me about this sun card. Why is the sun card here? Tell me about this sun card. Why is the sun card here? Tell me about this sun card. Why is the sun card here? Tell me about this sun card. 
Sun card is clarified by the five of wands and the six of wands. Five of wands, I'm telling you, they really want to fight for this connection. Six of wands, they just want for once for this shit to be successful, for this shit to work. But also, they do feel like some of y'all are out here dating other people. They feel like y'all been getting a lot of attention lately. And they don't really like that. And I feel like by y'all out here, and not some of y'all. And for the ones that, of y'all that's not out here dating, y'all need to date. Because for the ones that's out here dating, it's lighting a fire under their ass. Because now they feel like they got competition. Because this was this clarified the sun card. So now because you're out here dating, you're out here getting attention. And, they're, and they know that you're out here dating because you're not hiding it. Now they feel like I got to do something. I got to heal. I got to work on myself. I got to be able to fix this situation. I got to get my bitch back. Like I'm going to have to do something with this fucking third party. Tell me about the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here? Tell me about the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here? Tell me about the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here? Two of wands is clarified by the knight of wands. So remember with the two of wands, I said that they're planning something. Knight of wands, I feel like they're planning on a like rushing in but also with the Knight of Wands, they feel <laughs> they feel like you outside being a hoe right now. They feel like you are attention or like you just love the attention and they don't like that shit. I'm telling you, they they really think you out you up to no good. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for water signs in their person? <laughs> Not I wanna cheat so bad, girl. Go to sleep. Go to bed. Bye. Where, what is the final likely outcome for water signs in that person? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you got the Page of Cups, the World, and the Ten of Wands. Okay? Page of Cups. Y'all may receive some type of text message from like a heartfelt message or even apology. World card. They want to start a new cycle with you. Ten of Wands, I feel like you're going to tell them, like, or you need to tell them. Only way we are starting a new cycle is if you release that fucking third party with this Ten of Wands. It's too much baggage that's pouring over into our relationship. It's fucking up my mental. It's fucking with my happiness. So either... You release it or I'm completely releasing you because I'm putting me first. Like, I got to put me first. I got to put me first, Lucius. Ain't that what they said on? Uh. <laughs> so, yeah, like, you got to, like, I'm telling y'all, y'all have to stand your ground with this person. Like, don't, don't, don't accept less than what the fuck you deserve. I told y'all, y'all need to know your worth. You need to know who the fuck you are. Like, look in the mirror every day. Like, have y'all ever seen the show Being Mary Jane? Perfect example. Every morning, like, she would write post-it notes and stick it on her mirror or on her wall. So when you get up in the morning and you brushing your teeth, look at that sticky note to remind yourself who you are. You are lovable. You are beautiful. You are desirable. You will be in a committed, stable, happy, monogamous relationship. Like, these are things that you have to write to yourself and read it every day. Read it out loud multiple times a day. And once you start keep seeing something or reading it every day, you're going to start to believe it. You're going to start to feel it. So, getting your little Mary Jane. And, I mean, what was her name? Um, what did I say it was called? Being Mary Jane? And she was a little loose as a goose. She was out dating. She didn't play no games with these men. She was out dating. Thank you so much, um, Kathy, for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. So y'all need to get into that type of energy. You have to constantly remind yourself who you are. You got to pour into yourself. Like, please start pouring into yourself. Like, it is so important to pour into yourself. So if it takes writing 50 fucking sticky notes and reading that every day, do that shit. You got to do Like, that shit is important. Daily affirmations. I use this app on my phone for my daily affirmations. 
And it make me write a journal piece every month. I love it. It's one of my favorite apps. It's called the Gratitude app. So some of y'all need to download that and use it. And I promise you, if you stick to it daily and literally do it every day. I do it twice a day. Um, once in the morning when I get up and once at night before I go to bed. It's the best app ever. The best app. But yeah, that's what I have for y'all water signs. That was a long reading, and that reading got a little deep. Yeah, you can't just write it. You definitely got to believe it. Oh, my God. My back hurt. Thank you so much, Dre, for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. Um, You said, what do I write for healing? All right, so this is what I would suggest for some of y'all. I'm going to go over one technique because I still got to do earth signs. So I'm going to make this really fast. But I think I'm going to make a video about it. Oh, my God, my back hurt. Y'all, my back hurt. Mm. Oh, baby, you can't be depressed on your birthday. Uh-uh, stink. No, that's your day. That is your day. So... Mm, maybe somebody back ready, ready to get wore out. <laughs> My back hurt like a bitch. All right, so thank you, Sheriff, for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. All right, so look. Y'all know, okay, you deeply in love with somebody. Y'all going through some shit. Your heart is just, you just feel like the shit is shattered. Like, like, the, like he took your fucking soul or she took your soul, whatever. We've all been there, right? What I have found that is helpful for me and I got this from, you know, going to therapy. Um, write a letter to your person. Not for you to give it to them. It's not, you're, you're never going to give this to them, right? You write a letter to them. And you just pour everything out in that letter. Like, every fucking thing out in that letter. Like, um, you start with their name. I'm just, I don't know, we'll say Mike. Like, dear Mike. <laughs> um, you can be like, I love you more than I probably loved any man in my life. But the way you treat me or have treated me is beyond unacceptable. It's something that I cannot accept anymore. When you did X, Y, and Z to me, that crushed my soul. When you said X, Y, and Z to me, that Crush my soul. Like, go into detail. Like, every fucking thing that this person has done to you, you put it in the letter which you want to say to him. Right? Or her. Don't sign off on it yet. Because I'm telling you, as days go by, you're going to think of more shit. And you're going to run home. And you're going to get your notebook. And you're going to keep writing. You're going to keep adding to it. Keep adding to it. Until you finally... And you're going to know when you're done with writing that letter. Okay? And then you sign off on it. Boom, put the notebook up. Um, when that person tries to spin a block on you, and that's fine, girl. Yep, you're, you're listen, the letter could be 10 pages. I can't even remember how many pages Miles was. Mine was a lot of, lot of pages when I had did mine one day. When that person tries to spin the block on you, and you know you have um, issues with setting boundaries with them and sticking to your boundaries, you go pull that notebook out. And you start reading what the fuck he wrote. You you start reading how on November 9th, 2023, how you were crying your fucking eyes out because they didn't show up for you or they spoke to you crazy or they did this and they did that. So when you start reading all of the shit that they put you through in that letter and they on a, and you on the phone with them, you're going to be like, fuck you. And you're going to hang up. And it's at first you might let a little shit slide, but the more you start reading back what you wrote to your person, because you're like I said, you're never gonna give it to them. It's gonna be harder and harder and harder for them to get back in your good graces. And after a while, you're not even gonna pay their ass no mind. After a while, you're gonna be like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like fuck them. Like you are you you are the bottom of the barrel to me. I'm telling you, like, that will really help because it's right there in your face. Like, these are your words. Ain't nobody write that. You wrote that. So you're writing all the shit they put you through. You're writing it to them. So when they call one, two in the morning, have that notebook right on your nightstand. 
open that notebook and just say, hold on one second. Open that notebook and you start reading that letter. You start reading that letter. Then you get back on that phone like, I gotta call you back and hang up and just don't even call back. You probably won't even answer any calls anymore because eventually that's gonna make you understand your worth. That's gonna keep reminding you what you deserve and what you no longer want to put up with. Um, so I'm telling you, shit like that really, really helps. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on YouTube if it downloads. That's what y'all be forgetting. It's not that I don't wanna put these videos on YouTube. Instagram be tripping sometimes and don't be allowing me to download these videos. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm telling you, that's why like I'm so big on writing. Like everything I do as far as manifestation, as far as healing, Whatever it is, I write. I'm a writer and I love it because you're writing to your higher self. Your, your ancestors are reading it. God is reading it. Whoever you believe in. And they're going to deliver. They're going to help you. And another thing y'all be forgetting, <clears throat> you need to start talking to your ancestors. Some of y'all act like y'all scared to talk to your ancestors. You got to start talking to them. They want you to ask for help. They are there to help you. But you got to start talking to them and you got to be intentional with your words and you got to stand on that shit like they are there for you. But OK, now let's get to earth signs. Can somebody write earth signs? One day I'm going to show y'all some of my journals like I have so many journals. I love to write. Um, it's just so therapeutic for me. So therapeutic. <clears throat> oh, my lips a little chat, y'all. What my little uh girl fire been done. Yeah, I love it. Like and even like if y'all lost a loved one, write him a letter. That helps grieve. I'm telling you, I dated I dated this guy and I was in love with him, but he got killed. And I just, it was just hard for me to get through that moment. But I wrote him a letter, signed off on it, and it really helped with my grieving process. Like it really helped with my grieving process. So if you lost somebody that you're close to, write them a letter. It, I'm telling you, it helps. Especially if they died and y'all wasn't on good terms or something like that. Like, yeah, like write a letter. Oh my God, my back hurt y'all. Told me to do that about my mom has been two years. Maybe this is time to write. Girl, I'm telling you, you lose a loved one, it really, really helps. My fiance got murdered two and a half years ago, and I'm still healing. I talk to him, I write to him, it really helps. I miss him. I'm so sorry to hear that. It really does help. Damn, sometimes I think I live some like TV shows. That's crazy. Girl, yes. I'm so glad I started going live because remember when I was scared to go live, y'all? <laughs> but I feel like. I don't know. I just feel like this is my calling. Like, it was meant for me to start this page again. It was meant for me to start going live. Like, my son pushed me to go live that day. Like, I wasn't going to do it at first. But I'm glad I did. Like, I'm really glad I did. I'm so glad I did. I just feel like God has put me to work. Like, I honestly feel like I've found my purpose in life. God is truly using me. And I love it. I really love it. Dad died in front of me and I was my Oh my god. 
I've never healed, but I talk to him every day. But I feel like he's so disappointed in me for the route I've taken. Well, guess what? You can listen. It's never too late to change. If you feel like it's some things in your life that you're not happy with, baby girl, you you can change it. You can change it. But you're gonna have to learn to heal it. I mean, it does truly get easier as time go on, but you never truly get over it. Thank you, Dami. it is um all right let's get started we didn't have a fucking therapy session today <laughs> spirit how does earth signs feel about their person oh i thought about red but red fade too fast yeah i think i'm gonna do jack that like i really am for how does earth signs feel about their person y'all think i should go black how does Earth sign feel about their person? Oh, I do have fun thing. Blondes do have fun. For how does Earth sign feel about their person? Pink, girl, I ain't doing no damn pink. Is you crazy? I'm somebody's mother. And I'm old. For how does Earth sign feel about their person? How does, cause that blonde is really breaking my hair off, like for real. Oh, I gotta post a picture when I used to have, I posted in my story when I used to have black hair, y'all. It was years ago, I was young as shit. Spirit, hold up. Wait, no, what am I doing? I said, how does the earth sound like, wait, that's wrong. I meant to say, y'all confusing me, how do you? Wait, no, I did say that, what did I say? Hold on, y'all. Let me get it together. Let me get it together. Hold up. I gotta get it together. I think blonde me. And that's crazy because anybody I've ever dated, they always want me to keep blonde, but I really do miss my black hair. Like, I do. But it's like men want me to stay with the blonde because of my skin complexion, but I don't know. All right, let's see. So, how does Earth signs feel about their person? Thank you. How does Earth signs just do it feel about their person? How does Earth signs feel about their person? Can you ever been missing for weeks now? I'm I'm a little nervous. I have to reach out to her. How does Earth sign feel about their person? Heavy fire energy so far. Some of y'all mess with a fire sign. How does Earth sign feel about their person? All right, let's see. So, first card is the four wands. Four wands, y'all have a lot of love for them. Um, y'all feel y'all y'all are twin flames. Um, y'all have a very strong connection with them. This is the card of eleven eleven. Um, when things are good between y'all, you just feel like they bring so much good luck to your life. When when things are good between y'all, um. Wait, what happened? I told her you asked her. She said, what should I say? 
Oh, she booed up her bitch. I figured that. All right, stop. Don't don't distract me. I gotta pay attention. All right, so they feel like um, I mean, you feel like mm mm mm. Fuck. Why are y'all confusing me? Y'all feel like when you and this person is doing good, it's like you feel. Like, I don't know, like, good luck, because I'm thinking about 11-11. You feel protected. You feel safe. You feel like, you feel love, like you do. Like, when things are good between you, you they make you feel love, some shit you never experienced before. And then with this King of Wands, it's like, for some of you, it's like, you look at them as someone you want to settle down with. You want to be married with. You want to have a family with. Um, but no, actually I'm gonna wait before I say what I was going to say. So yeah, that's how you look at them. But then you got the eight of cups. So it's like, for some of you, it's like, you feel like your person be ghosting you. Um, or you just feel like it's something or someone you need to walk away from. And I don't know if it, Earth sign. Okay, I don't know. Some of y'all feel like y'all got to walk away from this person. Okay? Because the Eight of Cups speaks about walking away from something or someone that you once loved or once was passionate about. Then you have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is like, I just don't know what to do because I know that I want to be with them. I know that this is the person I want to marry. I know this is the person I want to build with. I want to make money with them. I want to have a family with them. Like you want it all with this person. But then you have the two of pentacles. Um, so with the two of pentacles, it's like you feel like your person is juggling. You do. You feel like your person has someone else um, and you want them to make a decision. This is how you feel. Or if some of y'all are messing with two people, you feel that your person may be pressuring you to make a decision between them and someone else. But you do have a lot of love for this person, a lot of love. So most of y'all, well, not most, but some of y'all are dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Hurt. Tell me about this four of wands. Why is the four of wands here? <clears throat> Hold up. That was too many cards. Tell me about the four of wands. Why is the four of wands here? Tell me about the four of wands. Four of wands clarified by the two of swords. It's like y'all want forever with them. Y'all want to be with them. But y'all are so confused. And y'all know it's some sort of decision that needs to be made. Um, to a I mean, shit, to a source of third-party energy. So it's like, y'all want them to choose. Like, what are you going to do? Are we going to have this happily ever after together? Are we going to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, y'all, I feel so tongue-tied. Um, fuck, I can't even think of what a word I'm looking for. But basically, like, are we going to do this? Are we going to make this shit work? Because with this four of wands, this is a love of a lifetime. Tell me about this king of wands. Why is the king of wands here? Damn. Mm. King of wands is clarified by the king of cups and the five of swords. Damn, a lot of people keep getting the five of swords. <clears throat> so, you, once again, y'all have unconditional love for them. The King of Cups and the Five of Swords came out in every read, and that is crazy. So, yeah. Y'all have unconditional love for your person. But at the same time, you feel like they play a lot of games with you. You feel like sometimes that, like, they purpose, like, they purpose, purposelessly sabotage this relationship. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? I'm not taking all the cards. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Eight of 
Cups is clarified by the Eight of Wands and the Seven of Wands. So remember with the Eight of Cups, I said either you feel like you need to walk away from this person or what else I say? <laughs> or you want them to walk away. I mean, you, no, wait. Either you feel like you need to walk away from this person or they want you to walk away from somebody if you got two people. Some shit like that. I don't fucking know, y'all. So the Eight of Cups was clarified by the Eight of Wands and the Seven of Wands. So you want to communicate with them. Like, you want to communicate with them really bad. And, like, just have a conversation because there's so much passion and so much love between the two of you. But with the seven of ones, I don't mean to laugh, but seven of ones, your person blocked you. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was not funny because y'all is going through it. I'm sorry. But with the seven of ones, your person may have blocked you. Or you blocked them. I don't fucking know. But communication between y'all is blocked right now. And you want the communication to get better between the two of you. You really do. You would really like for this communication to get better. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of, Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Damn, y'all really love this person. So love, Ten of Pentacles, you know that's when you pretty much have it all, right? So it's clarified by the Page of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Y'all love the sex between you and your person. Like nobody fucks y'all like this person fuck y'all. And with the Nine of Pentacles, you think they are just so fucking gorgeous or so fine. And they, like, check all your boxes. You feel like, for the most part, outside of the juggling the third party, they pretty much got their shit together. Because this is the person you would essentially want to settle down with. Mm. Mm. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Two of Pentacles is clarified by the Five of Wands. So you feel like it's a competition or something. Like you got to compete for their time, <clears throat> their love, their affection. Or you just think that they just out here dating multiple people. All right. So let's see how your person feels about you, Herb Science. Okay. So how does the person on Earth Sign's mind feel about them? How does the person on Earth Sign's mind feel about them? Damn. Oh my God. Mm. Um, oh wait, what am I doing? Give me one more card to tell me how the person on Earth signs mind feel about them. How does the person on Earth signs mind feel about them? Shada, you really on points today for real proud. I'm competing for yourself. Y'all know what's so crazy? Um, even the daily horoscopes, I'm like, mm, the past couple days, I'm like, mm, these getting a little deep. I like, I don't know, I've been liking the daily horoscopes. Not that I don't, never like them, but this week, I just feel like, I don't know. Shit just been coming to me a little more deeper. All right, so y'all, this is how your person feels about you. Your person feels that, it's a lot of love between you two, but your person feels that um, it's, like that in and out energy with you or you feel that about them well no because this is how they feel about you so they feel like it's like you're always in and out back and forth or you're just always hot and cold with the nine of cups here they have a lot of love for you they want to be with you um they're waiting on like a wish fulfillment they also feel like they want you to be single or you want them to be single because the nine of cups can speak about somebody needing to be single or ready to be single. Huh. Then you go from the nine, look, they go from the nine to the 10. 
So with the Ten of Cups, it's like they want to be with you. They want to be in a relationship with you. They want to be married with you. They want to have a family with you. Your person loves the fuck out of you. And then with the Eight of Swords, it's like, but they're in their head about something. They're overthinking something. Like, um, or this is your inner, I mean, shit. No, wait. Girl, why am I getting confused? I must be getting tired. Because I have not been confused with no other reading, but now... I'm getting confused. I guess this is the last reading of the night. Um, no, yeah, see, so a person is in their head. They're overthinking, and they just feel like their back is against the wall. And I'm assuming because of possibly this third-party energy. And then you got the Five of Pentacles. So with the Five of Pentacles, they feel like you make them feel rejected at times. They feel like y'all always arguing. They feel like you left them out in the cold. I don't know. And I'm getting that because maybe some of y'all are starting to stay in y'all ground. And y'all not putting up with a lot of shit that y'all would normally put up with. So in return, they feeling like they don't got you like they used to have you. So now they feel like, oh, Earth signs just abandoned me. Earth signs just left me out in the cold. Some shit like that. I don't know. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Five of Cups to the Six of Pentacles. Five of Cups, somebody is feeling regretful. Somebody is mourning the loss of a connection. So something may have ended between you and this person. Somebody may have gotten caught cheating. Um, and it's Six of Pentacles. So they feel like... Your person know they had more to give to this connection, but they didn't. Or they may feel like you could have gave more, but you didn't. Like, in a sense, like, they feel like you were bred from them. Or vice versa. Take it however it resonates. But they do. They just feel like you had more to give, but you didn't. You were bred from them. Even though I strongly feel like this is how y'all feel. But So what I'm getting is your person is very manipulative. I feel like your person will do some shit. But make it feel like it's your fault. Like, very manipulative. Very, very manipulative. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups? Knight of Swords. So, your person feels like lately all y'all been doing is arguing. They want to rush in and have a conversation with you, but they know it's going to cause another argument because you're starting to stand your ground now. You're starting to realize who the fuck you are. Yeah, I love that for y'all. So they feel like they want to come in and talk to you, but it's going to cause an argument because that's all y'all been doing lately. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. Why is it Ten of Cups? Shit, hold up. Damn, all the cards fell. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? That would be funny as fuck if his baby mother came on here and watched the live messy. Why did the baby mother know you? So the Ten of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Wands. So the Ten of Cups, like I said, your person loves you. They want to happily ever after with you. But with this Nine of Wands, it's like <sighs> your person is resisting. They are one foot in and one foot out. They know that you're their person, but they just don't know if they can really show up for you how you need. They don't know if they can really give you that Ten of Cups. They, they, they really don't know if they could do it. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Eight of Swords is clarified by the World card. So the Eight of Swords, remember I said your person is all in their head. They're overthinking. They feel like their back is up against the wall. With this World card, they're sitting here thinking like, should we start a new cycle or should we just let it be over? Like, that's, that's where they're at with it. Like, 
Should we just let this cycle in? Or would it be worth starting a new cycle? Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Temperance and the um, Will of Fortune. So, they do eventually want to start a new cycle. But they know in order to start a new cycle, they feel like lately you've been on your healing shit. Like, you're trying to heal. So, they know when they come back, they got to come back correct. They know that you all are meant to be, but they don't know how to figure this shit out. So, it's like they're leaving it up to the universe. If, if, if it's meant to be, it will be. But it's definitely going to happen in divine timing because both of these cards represents having patience. Like, it's going to take some patience. So let's see what the final likely outcome is. Spirit, so what is the final likely out outcome between earth signs and their person? What is the final likely outcome between earth signs and their person? Mm, I don't like that. Give me two more cards. What is the final likely outcome between earth signs and their person? What is the final likely outcome between earth signs and their person? Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords, Queen of Swords. All right, so look. Seven of Swords. I feel like your person is going to continue to play games. Your, your person may continue to be sneaky and deceptive. Um, and with the Nine of Swords, it's like they're in their heads right now because they feel like you're onto their shit. They can't do the shit that they once did because you're not putting up with it anymore because you're showing up as the queen of swords. Queen of swords is a woman that, or man, whatever, that stands on business. Queen of swords is someone that knows her worth. Queen of swords is someone that knows how to set boundaries and is going to stand on that. So now that you're in this queen of swords and you're setting boundaries and you're healing, they're in their head because it's like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> she ain't my little dummy no more. <laughs> like, what am I going to do? And I'm not really calling y'all a dummy, but y'all know how some men be like, you know what, whatever, it don't even matter. But they just feel like you standing on business right now and they don't like it. Like you're healing, you're working on yourself. You're not putting up with the sneaky shit no more. They can't come at you sideways anymore. They can't brag from you anymore. They cannot gaslight you anymore because you standing on business and you know your fucking worth. So now with this nine of swords, they are stressing. They stress the fuck out. <laughs> they can't even sleep at night, y'all. Like, for real. They, like, yeah, like, damn. What am I going to do now? What am I going to do? So, that's what I have for y'all earth signs. And y'all better keep standing on fucking business and stop letting people play with y'all. No, for real. I can, I can hear some of these men saying that like, damn, I lost my little dummy. Because <laughs> we on oh, some real shit. Like, for real. Like, be fucking for real. We all been done for a man before. Like, come on now. Don't, don't act like y'all haven't. We all been there before. And when you start knowing your word, you know... These men, they just start hurting. Like, they can't breathe. Like, when she start knowing her work? Like, what? Like, bitch, where you learn that from? They don't like that, y'all. They don't like that. Mm-mm. Ooh, my... Every time I get on here, my hands start itching. Um... <sighs> thank you so much, Angie. Um... So, yeah, that's what I have for y'all. <clears throat> So, all right, well, I was going to do some free readings, but I got to end this live because the longer it gets, the harder it is to download. It always is, because earth is money. It's pinnacles, y'all. It's about the pinnacles, so that's probably why I be itching. God might be ready to send your earth sign in my life. Yeah, okay. When are you going to do single? Well, I asked y'all the other day that y'all want me to do single reads. And everybody said no. So, all y'all be so concerned about your ex coming back. But y'all be in the comments lying, acting like y'all don't. All right, wait. I'll come back on here and tell y'all. But I got to end this live right now. 
and before it be too long so I can try to download it tomorrow. So if y'all want to come on and ask whatever questions, I'll answer them, but I'm going to end it right now.